All right, here we are back once again. I don't know how much I'll be able to <laughs> complete this time before I get pulled away from the game once again. But chapter five, if I remember correctly, yeah, it shows this hallway, which is the hallway. Is that isn't that the hallway I just walked out of? Maybe not. I don't know. We'll find out. Get going. We good? Chapter five. Oh, okay, that was weird. All right, and I apologize in advance right away that if I seem a little quiet or exhausted, that is because I very much am. Slept like shit all week, and then for some reason I just decided to work out. So on top of already wanting to go to sleep, now I'm just physically like, oh my god, kill me please. <laughs> Head wobble needs to not be a thing. There's just one downside, to, at least to this game so far, that I've uh, noticed is that... uh. Every time you load the game up, you have to choose what you want your settings to do be when it comes to like controller or something like that, stuff like that. Uh, and then I always have to turn the head bob off. Every time I load up. Okay, so here we are. So, okay, this was the hallway, I guess, for the loading little image. Well, that's fancy art right there. Hell yeah. All right, that was locked. No, no. Nice pictures. Lovely, lovely. Oh, door opens. So I'm going to double check. I've never had two doors unlocked at once. And it's not going to start now. Got it. I love doors that lead to doors. How big of a freaking house am I in? I just felt like that was the same hallway I just walked through. So I'm... If this is going to have a repeating PT kind of feel to it, I'm not going to appreciate it at all. Home sweet home. Do you collect too much stuff? Kitchen ideas. 12 new bedroom hints. There's a lot going on there. Oh, I'm just going to read that like it's on the table without even picking it up. I'm entering my... Fr <coughs> so that's how this is going to go, apparently. I'm entering my first year of high school. I'm pretty nervous about it, but excited at the same time. My grandmother was recently diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. The diagnosis didn't really phase her. She seems a lot less lively these days, just listening to the radio or TV most of the time. I try to talk to her about current events and casual topics, but her responses are more bleak and dull than they used to be. I wouldn't describe her aura as depressing or gloomy. A more precise word would be hollow or empty. It's almost as if a part of her is drifted off somewhere that is, and is yet to return. She would have episodes like this before, but the frequency and length of the episodes seem to be increasing, James. All right, so like I said last time, how I was like, I'm pretty sure I was still young during that time period, like with in the room I just in. Um, I'm assuming this is later than that, obviously. Uh, obviously in a high school now, so. Ooh, a present. Is it my birthday? Uh, I remember I have a flashlight this time. I'm not falling for that shit twice. I, honestly, I think the only reason I remembered I had a flashlight was because I just got done... Uh, Exporting the uh, the last episode. This is lovely. I don't see anything going wrong with this. I don't know what to like. I, I never know what to like focus on when it comes to the zooming in aspect to cause things to trigger. And after last episode, I now know drawers can potentially open. Yep, didn't mean to zoom in. Wanted a flashlight. This is what I was referring to. Doors that lead to doors. I this is this house is ginormous apparently oh this place looks familiar cool this door's gonna be locked now nope oh these doors still gonna be locked so uh, how, why did I f immediately feel like there was gonna have a PT type rep repetition here and then immediately leads to a, one of them uh, god damn it Grandma, somebody, you took the note. My present's gone. Where are you? Where, where, wait, that wasn't a present. Oh, it was just a box. Well, never mind. Now I'm a little sad. I don't get my note. Today, I landed a part-time job tutoring my neighbor's kid. I can't get a real job since I'm only 14, but at least this will give me some kind of income. Regarding my grandmother's health, there have been no major changes. She remains uninterested and perpetually distant whenever I interact with her. Something kind of strange happened today. I caught her having a conversation with the radio. 
The thing is, the radio was off the whole time. She was arguing back and forth with it as if it was a real human being. It kind of reminded me of the crazy people you have to deal with when talk taking public transit. Damn, I cannot read today. It's kind of messed up that I found it just a tiny bit funny. It'll probably be sent. I'll probably be sent to hell for laughing at it. But I couldn't help it. I have a sick sense of humor. I love her to death, and it pains me to see her deteriorate like this. I hope she gets better. James. Okay. Well, James. I'm pretty sure you're in hell. And one of these times, this rocking chair right here is going to be rocking with a nice little creak creak noise. And you're going to regret everything in life. Nope, wrong buttons. James, I'm sorry to bother you, but I've misplaced my keys somewhere. Can you please find them for me? Just place them next to this note once you found them. Grandma. She's got some, like, perfect handwriting. Just throwing that out there. All right. Um... I love that she uh, leaves me a note to find her keys. Yep, that's what I thought. So I'm gonna have to go probably back this way. Probably one of those other doors is unlocked now. Can't even interact with that door. Can't crouch. Yes, okay. I don't know why I was in, in, anticipating that to change. Wait. Oh, I could. Sure. Didn't even notice that. I thought I was going to move the clothing. Here we go. Achievement unlocked. Key finder. That is my new title. And I shall be the. From this moment forth, I demand to be called by it. I, herefore, thou am key finder. Finder of the keys. All shall respect me. Are you lost? Yeah, just a little bit. Is this what it feels like to be the crazy grandma? Like, we're just walking back and forth constantly? Oh, this is lovely. Walked. Turn around. I really wish these doors would open more. That'd be cool. Oh, cool. We just walked out the same door we walked in. Hey, okay, I can technically go back. Just keep going back and forth. Oh. Okay. Okay. She's going to be waiting around a fucking corner here, and I'm not going to appreciate it at all. I can tell. La, 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 la. These rooms are way too freaking dark. Alright, don't see nothing, don't see a note. This door's going to be locked. Guess I'm going back this way. Down that way. Alright, next door to be lost with. Nope, it's not that door. Guess we're going back this way. Because I guess I'm lost. And let me guess, we're going to enter the same place we just... Motherfucker. I really got to be a little more nonchalant. Or uh, a little more cautious when I uh, turn a corner. Wait, this door's shut now. Fuck. Oh, Granny. I am the key finder, not the old lady finder. I don't like this. You've taken the key. I would like to be free. Okay, so are these doors locked? Yes, okay. Uh, you would like to figure out where to go, 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 where to go. Where to go. Not interactable, so something back here is probably going to change. Correct. There's got to be some, like, note or something that I'm not, uh, registering. Fragile. How many times did I walk by this fucking thing? I don't know if I didn't see it or if I just assumed this was the same note. Wow. Last night, I caught my grandmother staring at a painting in the middle of the hallway. It was in the middle of the night, and her eyes were locked onto the picture. It was kind of eerie seeing her entranced by it. After staring at it for at least half an hour, she walked off casually. I took a closer look at the painting and it was completely blank. It was literally a blank piece of paper she was staring at. At least I have some good news. I earned a raise at my tutoring job and I've started tutoring another neighbor's kid so I earn more money. Yay! I just wrapped up my first year of high school, so I'm glad I'll have something to keep me busy throughout the summer besides taking care of my grandma. 
Next, yeah, Grandma's getting becoming an inconvenience, and I shouldn't have said that out loud because I feel like that she can hear me in my microphone, and now she's gonna kill me for calling her an inconvenience. Motherfucker. It's a lovely photo, nice and colorful. But to be fair, I guess art is however you interpret it. So if you see this and you you get a feeling from it, I guess that's technically art. Like the way these crumb, like the way the paper is crumbled up, the shadows, the lines. It's like one of those like Rorschach tests. I think that's what they're called. <laughs> Just what do you see in this image? Oh, it's still uninteractable. God damn it! What am I missing now? Motherfucker! What do you want from me? I just wanna go. I wanna figure out. Just why didn't you just hand me a book with my life story and I could have read it and it would have been fucking over with already? Hopefully that door's not bugged and it's supposed to still be open. Because I mean, I'm earlier I could walk back through it. Do I have to stare at one of these things? You. Will. Fuck. You will fuck! You will... No, these weren't blank. You're blank. That's probably gonna be the one with the wheelchair, the big one. Or not the wheelchair, rocking chair. Or is it just gonna... Will... You... I like will you better than you will. Forgive. What the hell? I just had a fucking missed call from Amazon delivery. I've never had Amazon call me about leaving a package. All right, so will you forgive? Why am I zoomed in? Oh, that just kind of hurt my eyeballs. I feel like shit. Now that I like, got up and like went back out into the heat of Florida, I'm like, oh. Will you forgive? He. Never. Will you forgive? Will you forgive? Never. He will never forgive you. Do I have to like do these in a specific order like the other ones? He. Okay. Yep, see. Those are, he never. Will. Forgive. Wait. This one's forgive. Forgive you. He will never forgive you. See, I like that better when will you forgive was the option. I feel a jump scare coming. I don't appreciate this. My stomach doesn't like me right now and you guys are going to be mean. Did it just get super darker? Oh, lovely. At least that door's unlocked now. Uh, he will never forgive me. You. He will never forgive you. Oh, uh, the sun? Alright, it was worth the shot. So now I'm coming from the other end. Yeah, figured that was gonna be a thing. Man, I am tripping balls. I think I'm playing the grandma. This is just the confusion that she dealt with. Oh. Again, I fucking keep walking by this fucking thing. I woke up in the middle of the night to the sound of plates breaking. I dashed out of my room to see what was happening. I saw her in the kitchen repeatedly trying to carry a plate from the kitchen to the dining room. While walking over to the dining room, she would drop the plate and repeat the process. I walked over to her and guided her back to her bedroom. I set up a small barricade so she wouldn't be able to get out so easily. She could have really hurt herself. 
Maybe I should just set up a barricade so she doesn't get out of her room at night. I'm in the middle of my second year of high school right now, and it's been really hard balancing school, friends, and taking care of my grandmother. Most of the time I have to turn down social events because I have to stay home and make sure she doesn't do anything crazy. Like jump scare you at night? Does she do that at all? She just wait around a corner for you and be like, booga booga booga, and then you're like, oh my god. Sorry, there, there wanted to be more effort into that joke, but it just hit me and I was like, ah, I'm going to just, I'm just, this muse, this, ah, uh, okay. That's, that's what I was waiting for. Thank you. I needed that, uh, I needed that release of endorphins because that, this music has just been sitting there dormant in my head for the last fucking 15 minutes, it was whatever. So it's like, I've been waiting for something to happen. So I didn't have the effort to do anything. You're like, I needed that rush of, oh, okay, okay. Like now, now we're good. All right. I'm feeling better. So she dropped the plate because she's a freaking clumsy old lady. I'm fast as fuck with my strafing and I keep forgetting. Yep, still broken. Or locked. Still locked. Cool. Good for that. Would have never guessed. Yep, we've heard this over and 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 over. All right. I still don't know who was driving, and I still don't know if alcohol was actually involved. I still have no info. Oh, thank you. I didn't even hear it open. Uh, I still don't know if I figure. I think one. I still think there's one reason why I don't find this game as scary as like a lot of horror games would be, is because of the fact that I'm already dead. Like I've already been told I'm in the afterlife. So as much as you scare me, I don't have the fear of death. Cause you would you like? Uh, are you gonna kill me twice? I mean, technically yes, probably, but. Oh, lovely. Hallway after hallway after hallway back into this fucking place. God damn it. Okay. Oh, that's uncomfortable. Why is it flickering like it's a fire? I knew the chair was going to be rocking at some point. Achievement unlocked. Rocking chair. I don't know if I just heard a voice come from behind me because I thought it was in real life. So I just turned around to look. So I'm just going to walk in here and turn around while I'm in the light. Fuck me. That was. I genuinely don't know if that was in game or if I just heard somebody in the other room behind me. That made my heart like pause for a second because. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, now leave the safety of the light and music. A note this time. Can't interact. Okay, so... Something in here, I guess? Mother. I just heard somebody behind me again. I don't. I literally don't know if that's in game or if there's somebody else. In this place, he does not dwell. God is not present. No one will help you here. Hell is here. Yeah, well, yeah, I figured this is fucking hell. Like, I've been saying this is hell the whole time. At least I'm out of the red room. Yeah? You're gonna jump at me again. Oh, that, that was, that was, that was fine. I can't tell if you're moving towards me or not. I think she's moving towards me. Are you gonna run at me again? Oh, I, 
Okay, I don't like this. Fuck you, Granny. I'm moving out. I make my own money. I don't need to live under these conditions. Oh, I'm actually getting stressed out now. But thank God there's a loading screen. That that whole fucking... That whole level was a fucking cock tease. I was just waiting to get jump scared the whole fucking time. Oh my God, that was stressful. It was just like... It was just like... It was the stress in the back of your mind. Just constantly, just waiting to be jump scared. It was bullshit. <laughs> Oh, fucking serial why loading up into the same spot Do you I don't want to see this hallway two loading screens in a fucking row Thank God it's a different fucking room. Can we not repeat the process of going into the same rooms? Just you know Starting to worry about the future grandma's condition continues to get worse Is she going to stay like this for the rest of her life? I hope not what will happen when I have to leave for college? Who is going to take care of her? The way it is now, I can barely leave her alone for two seconds without her breaking something. I'm currently in my third year of high school, so I still have a little bit of time to think about that. Hopefully, I'll come up with a solution later. Because as, as of right now, I got fucking nothing. Ah, uh, is it? Okay, this is a different hallway. I was going to be fucking salty. This is like a figure eight hallway. What is the purpose of this bullshit hallway? Apparently I'm blind with notes. Okay, okay. I don't like a figure eight because it makes me feel like I'm gonna have to like serpentine around a bitch. I don't want to be getting chased. I'm gonna need something to remove the barricades. What did I use last time to remove barricades? Logically, I'd want to say a crowbar, but immediately close the door in my face. All these hall, this fucking floor is long, and it's just door to door, motherfucker. We're still doing this. If you're gonna do the same thing twice, huh? I don't even know what I'm staring at now. It's a hallway with two lights and a desk. Is this locked until I... Wait, letter. Oh, no, same one. Wait, no. I just entered my senior year of high school. It's time to start thinking about what happens after high school. I recently applied for the scholarship. It would pay for basically all of my expenses, including tuition, room and board, and everything else. My biggest issue right now is my grandmother. We don't have any real, we don't really have any relatives or anyone to take care of her besides me. Will I have to take care of her for the rest of her life? The answer seems to be yes. Her condition keeps getting worse and worse. I know this is selfish, but I feel quite bitter about this current situation. I keep having to make sacrifices for her sake. Hopefully I'll think of a solution sooner rather than later. Man, that kind of hits home a little more than it should. Oh, lovely. Hi, Grandma. You know you're being a real inconvenience to me? You better hope I... Like, man, if I could... If this character could just figure out you murdered his parents, he would just be out the door immediately and we'd be good. That's fucking creepy. This is lasting a lot longer than I thought it would, so this might actually be happening. Okay. Really forget to zoom out sometimes. Oh. Fuck. Yep, hallway with two lights. Cool. Is this really going to be a chase thing? Like, is that what you're telling me? Was I right about the figure eight hallway bullshit? Because I don't really want to be right about that. If you put me in a fucking chase scene, I'm going to be so disappointed with you. Fucking doors need to open up more. Crying again. 
back at the three-way split? Of course I am. The light's over there, but I'm just double-checking. Mother fucker. And the thing that bugs me as well is the fact that we still haven't even gone straight, so this is going to happen a third time. God damn it. Are you lost? How can you be lost if you have nowhere to go? Are you scared? Are you frightened? Are you without hope? Are you without God? I mean... No, like... Are you lost? How can you be lost if you have nowhere to go? Are you scared? Are you frightened? Are you without hope? Are you without God? I mean, I never had faith or hope to begin with, because you, you, know, you started it off with, congratulations, you're dead. So, uh, from the get-go, I was kind of like, well, good, we're fucked. We're in hell. You're not going to have a horror game where you end up in heaven. Because if, even if that were the case, that would be a hell. Because it's hell and terrifying and horrible and yada 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 so it's like even if you like appeared in what would be nice and heavenly if it became scary and stressful then it would immediately become a hell so it's like yeah like that's just you're being a dick okay i wasn't sure if that door closed behind me yeah 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 there's Close the door behind me. Oh, you don't want to, huh? Is this my runaway? Okay, no. I have great news! I was one of the recipients for the scholarship! There is a downside, though. I can only use it on certain colleges. The lists they gave me are all too far away to commute on a daily basis from our house and the college. So I would definitely have to move. The problem there is that no one would be able to take care of my grandmother. I can't just leave her. She can't cook, buy or buy groceries, or do anything by herself. I'm practically her caregiver, rather than her grandson. If I leave, she'll probably wind up dead from starvation or some sort of accident. Feels like I don't have many options here. Put her in a home! She stabbed her parents! A uh, candle at the end of the hallway is lit. It's lit AF. Right? No, the door stayed open. Cool. Lovely. Yep. Yep. Continuing on, I guess. I'm actually... I actually just broke a sweat. Cool. Fucking stressful ass... Sis yeah. So. Oh, fucking course. Are you leaving me too? Well, I was trying to go to college. Fuck you, you bitch. Steven Achievement on knock knock. You can fuck right off. God damn it. <laughs> I hate knocks. Knocks and footsteps can fuck off. Yeah, I'm trying to go to college. Don't you want me to be successful? You fucking greedy ass old lady. Selfish. You could. You, you, I'm feeling selfish because I want to leave, but you're just being selfish by keeping me here. Fucking brat. You're a brat of a grandma. You didn't know that? I thought it actually opened. Zigzag, zigzag. Splish, splash, take a bath. Motherfucker. I like it better when I can just walk through because then I know nothing scary is going to happen immediately. Well, it wouldn't be the same area twice to have a trigger, right? Unless it was all a ruse and I could go through a different door here. Then again, I never want to go through that door again. I'm tired of seeing that hallway now. Especially with her in it. 
guess I should try to figure out this door. Like, see if I can open it. I don't... Needs hammer, so I have to find a hammer. Well, now that it told me I needed a hammer, maybe that's... Nope. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. This isn't fucking lovely at all. Hey grandma, where do we have a where do we leave the hammers at so I can Oh, there's blood on it. To be fair, she stabbed them. She didn't beat them, so uh Whose blood's on the hammer, Grandma? I hate the fact that I actually have to sit here and look at it while holding this fucking key. Nothing possibly could go wrong during this 15 seconds of looking into this fucking corner. It's fine. It's gonna lead me back to the other fucking place anyways. Three-way split hallway! Motherfucker it is, but it's that door. God damn it. It was the three-way split hallway, but I didn't come from this way this time. God, this fucking game. One of these times she's gonna be sitting on the couch. Yeah. No, I thought this door was gonna be open though. Oh, lovely. Hey, Grant. Granny. Granny. So I have to go through that door, huh? She's having a fucking seizure, mate. Was the first time that light was on like this whole time? What a yeah, I fucking figured. Breaking my zigzag, and I'm probably gonna regret it. At least they don't slam doors in your face. It's probably gonna be this door, actually. Or there's something I need to read. Oh, that sent shivers down my spine, actually. <sighs> Fucking thank you for just getting it over with. I knew I was going to end up back in a fucking office building. <laughs> yep, fall over out of the couch like you always do. There we go. You know, it just feels good to be in the freaking light again. I like the office building more. It's better than the house. Fuck that house. This is so much nicer. But I knew I'd be back here. Okay. So this is where I'm trapped for the time being. So, I guess right here I'll... I'll have to zoom... You know what? I don't... No, I'm not going to spoil it. Well, for... Oh, I guarantee if I zoom in on the TV, the TV will start talking to me. Uh, so I'm locked in here until I talk to this douchebag again. So I guarantee that's going to happen next time. So I want to see what chapter we're on now. Mainly because I, I'm I'm too delusional. I don't, I don't want to be like this for multiple episodes. So we just did chapter 5 and chapter 6. So chapter 7 is that one. Okay. Chapter 6 was the TV room. And that was that hallway. I never want to see those two ever again. So yeah, cool. Yeah, no, I, but uh, with how I feel right now, how, how shitty I feel right now, I don't feel like I'm able to do as much of recording as I would w originally wanted to just because I feel like utter shit. <laughs> I really regret just everything right now. I like the nausea you get from working out right after you eat. That's what I got. That's what I have right now, but it's still just dormant sitting here. So... I think I'm just going to chill and relax a little bit. So, again, this game isn't being as played through as easily as I anticipated. But, you know what? We're getting through it, and I'm still interested in what's going to happen now. We went from Granny just wanting a hug and feeling bad for her, which, I mean, to be fair, she 
if if we would have just ha been able to like if the parents just for like talk to her about it and shit they'd probably still be alive so none of that shit would have happened she wouldn't have had the mental break and all that stuff the same way at least like all oh, this could have been so i still felt feel bad for granny the grandma in that sense but it went from she's the victim to her murdering to her getting me and then her slowly losing her mind and now i'm i was correct that we are going through my life basically which i messed i guess was kind of a given but we just got to the point where we we're leaving high school so at this point on like maybe the reason we ended up back in an office building is because maybe i you know, like this is after college or during college when i have a job and i work in an office building maybe that's why i'm here but we'll figure out next time so i thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next one peace